I didn't have any kind of intro or introduction to what we we're going to do on the day. So I just thought I'll pop in and say what the plan was for the day. And that was we went to explore a spot with the intention of catching and cooking some fish. Now, any fish was fair game, but we eventually ended up catching, you would see in the video. And we actually had a great time cooking these fish. So I, again, I didn't have an intro to the video. So I just said I'll, I'll, I'll pop in and say what the intention was. Explore a new spot to try and get some fish to cook right then and there. Now, the next thing is I can't tell you where this spot is. I uh, receive a lot of, I'd say, well, I'd say negative feedback or, you know, some criticism from a few people. Well, you know, when I go to different spots, they say, you know, you shouldn't be filming there, you shouldn't be revealing these spots, you know, they could they'll ruin it for everyone else. So while I don't fully agree with some of those people, I still try to respect a couple of people's opinion and I won't say the actual name of the places that I go anymore. Uh, if you know the place, you know, you keep it to yourself, enjoy it as much as you can. But uh, like I said, let's respect those who want to keep it a secret. Someone actually told me I had tunnel vision and I was ignorant for showing some of the spots that I show. Now again, I totally disagree with this. I think we have some great spots and it should be shared with everyone. Uh, the main thing is that how, you know, we need to be responsible for the places that we go. Um, practice catch and release. Take care of the environment. Don't litter, don't throw garbage all over the place. And be respectful for the outdoors. That is the main thing. And I think if everyone can follow those rules, then sharing these spots might be such a big issue. Um, but just like I said, I won't be revealing any spots again. At least any spots that I think might be sensitive. You know, again, if you know it, keep it to yourself, enjoy it. So now back to the video. On, fish on, first one. Little snook. Common. You can like a big eye, but. Yeah. Who's fish? Oh. Make a 360. Right out in the Gulf though. Hmm, throw right on top of me. Closing logo. Yeah. 
Famous for Christmas. What? That's famous river for Christmas. Not a fish on here. Nice size one. Nice size one. Oh, boy. Decent. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah. Fat snook. Watch. This bump is on the middle. This bump. There's the bump and it stop. Twice the same way to get it right. This one? We eating this one? I am in! I'm in! <laughs> Fat snook will be eaten. He's about 14 inches. Like I said, learning the difference between the fats and the common. Nice big commons. This one has a nice piece of meat on it. <laughs> the man had the choice that he began in the nursery. It's working though. Nice fat snook. Want to eat. Hopefully we get the fire started and eat it right here. Another nice fat. This one might be about an inch bigger, 15 inches. What a nice snook. Nice On one. The secret bit. This is all you don't show them now bit. That's the grub tail. Nice, nice one. I think this might be lunch. Buck it up there, go and put me in the bucket in the water. Catching one on footage. Next part? Right here again? And this grass right here. Not a nice fat snook. Yeah. Strikes again. Three fish for three men. We have enough day. Fish to eat. One a man. Three fat snook. That's all we keep it. So stop master start a fire here. I don't know how we go and transmit into the tree. Maybe we could put the whole tree in the fire though. Yeah, that's easy. Let's back in the pump. Ah foil you know. Well go hit them in foil. You can wrap them up and let's throw them in there. Yeah, because it's good enough. It's a die dog. We're supposed to be cooking in this, but since we have the fire going on the outside, we're gonna scoop the fish straight on the fire. I bring all the essentials here olive oil, butter, garlic, lime, salt. Cook it on the half gel, the bony skin, we want to do. You're scared it? No. Well. No, 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 you have to stop skin, take it, just load me. Yeah. So we doing? Now you season them. Towel bowl there. Put in there. You wash them water, right? Yeah. And then my blast has to go water. Okay, don't worry about that. I just want to go get that. 
That's some all purpose here. JGM all purpose. Seen plenty of sand in them. <laughs> I'm blasting. Take two more fillers on top of the bucket. Eh? I'm going to throw one in the fire just so. Oh yeah, got a little stove there. All right, so let me season the fish. I want to take out this can from a couple. Put it in the pan. All purpose seasoning. Generous salmon on the fish. Have the butter. Lots of butter. Gotta try and make a little prop for this for this stove, for the pot. Purpose seasoning. Lots of it. Oh, got too much. There's a raisin fire. Oh, this bottle will be too hot. Hot? <laughs> <laughs> hot? Not hot. Real hot. Can you see that? So it's at the end of Here? Are you foil your ass? You must have one of course, they're jumping out. So for this one, we foil in. Hey, CZ Master, finally catch one for the day. I'm not the lime, the garlic, or kind of thing. Double seal it or double wrap it? Yeah. The double wrap one. Yeah, enough foil? I'll treat this up for you. And we're gonna use the wire to keep it. To be able to take it out. We work the wine in the pool though. Yes so? Yeah, experiment this time. So on. We work for the regular one. Put the wine on top. First time. Have a tongs in the bag boy. It's cooking. How are you doing that next to day? So master, snook on the half shell. We have two in a foil. We have two in the pan. The ocean. What a nice vibe. Hey, I'm going to get on there, boy. I said, I'm going to get on there. Behind up, behind up. So, what are you doing there? Crushing some garlic. It's not crushing garlic. This is just olive oil and all purpose seasoning, JGM products. That one is butter with some all purpose. We have the lime, so after we finish, we will put the lime on it. We've got to eat in this foil tray here. This should be almost done, if not done. A 
Det er cool at det begynner på å yte ut. Snok filet, vi går en skua av vannet nett. Vi går rapp de neste vannet på yte ut. Vi har trenet inn i pære det, så. Så vi prøver inn i denne spisen av foil. Er det en ny lille gale? Kan du få et vann? Ja. Så vi prøver inn i denne spisen av gale. Have some all poppers. And some olive oil. A little sand and thing too, but all that in the cooking. We throw it straight on the fire. See how this one come out. Any garlic? Yeah. Garlic infused. Which part of the way? Straight on the fire. So three styles. <laughs> Pan. Open roast, roast on foil on grill, straight on fire. All the stuff here to cook and eat. You want to try this look? Yeah. Real hot or is it? Kind of hot. Okay. <laughs> Perfect though. Nice. A bit of lime. Finishes, finishing touches. Some freshly little, squeezed lime. Freshly squeezed lime. Now we have nice a nice beach. Nice Let me see lime. Mm. Come snook. A little hot still. Real good dog. This thing's a potato in house. Just all purpose. Butter. Lime. Zizi! Lunch is serving a dog. Zizi! Go with it, Lashin. It's a real good dog. Come. We are thing here, you know. Come here, you can try it now. Yeah, I'll be real for the pasta. After this, what should I do? Yeah, don't worry, man. Follow his contest. Wait! <laughs> Catch on, cook. On the beach. Hey, oh, oh, no! This one there. Follow his control. This was the open, the roast, one roasted on the open flame. On the half shell. On the half shell. Squeeze all the lime in it. Any extra bacteria in lime take care of it. Yeah, it's warm enough. Cook. Are you offering me any pan out of the door? Cook, though, you bring pan out of it. Yeah, just rub your pan there for one minute. I feel you can check this foil. Can you check this bad boy here? But this bad boy here. Take this Dog! Oh, look at dog. This chef's here. Look at it now. More? Squeeze all the lime out, put it for one minute. This one just about done, we just play back for like a minute like this. So we have the cook going in. Pan, foil, foil. Everything just about ready. Snook, get the fire started. Like our boss. Take our fire started on a beach like this. Like our boss, windshield. So I think this fella done here. No, I just hit down. I feel it's done. Let me drain out a little bit here. That's real butter. That's color now, dog. All this garlic, Snook Master, have a garlic infused olive oil here. With butter. With butter. I feel this one done here too. Yeah, man. Okay. Looking done. You all seen this on camera? You all seen this white flaky meat here? That is fire sight. White all the way through. 
that is good looking meat man. Look, might be a little hot, eh? Fire that's about out in, but we'll make sure and sand it up to make sure it's completely out. And we nage. Oh yeah. Ming, I fish this in real No dogs. This sunny foil here, Ming. Cook the best at feel. Can I meet now, boy? Look at this meat. White as you can get. There we have this fella here too, boy. Hello. Oh, that's our all purpose. Got lime, olive oil. Oh, I don't know. All is Z, come on, eat yeah, yeah. something, you know. Fireside cooking, stock master. Who's that chef? So, why them I leave this? Why? So, why them I knife the skin? The skin, we leave the skin so you don't burn the meat, you know? Do you think it's skin? Oh, that man need the skin too, boy. That man need the whole skin. The man in skeleton. You know? <laughs> this was good. This was big cook on the half shell. So we're well cooked. Though. Finish cook. So we gotta make sure completely douse this fire. Pick up all the garbage as well. So the fireplace is completely covered with sand, water thrown on it, everything packed up here, no garbage left behind. That's how you're supposed to do it. Three parts snook. As the mission for today, catch and cook, we did it. Quite successful. Heading out now, we have a lot of load to carry. So thanks for watching this episode of Coast and Fishing. Till the next one, keep fishing, fish on. I mean, make your balls up. How was it?